Hey everyone, welcome. It's Carrie from Carrie's Wreath Creations. I am here today to show you how to add extra holes to a Unique in the Creek wreath board. Okay, I know I'm a little off camera here, but if you're familiar with Unique in the Creek wreath boards, um, these are recycled plastic wreath boards and they do have holes drilled in them and you can make beautiful flower style wreaths with these boards. Um, every once in a while I have a design where I want extra holes on the board and there's a couple ways that you can accomplish this. Um, one would be to use a drill. Um, I'm not really into the power tool so I'm actually going to be using my wood burning tool. Um, this is a simple way to do it um, and I've been found it to be very successful and doesn't leave a whole lot of mess or anything like that. So I do have my wood burning tool. It's already plugged in. It's just a walnut hollow brand that you can find at any local craft store. Um, I've got actually got this one on Amazon. Um, mine has been a little bit well loved here so it's not the most pretty to look at but I just have the normal tip on here. Okay, uh, the one that comes on the tool when you take it out of the packaging does have a couple extra attachments. I've never actually used any of those. Um, it just has the simple on off switch. It's already plugged in as I mentioned. Okay, and I have my, um, my board here. Now what I wanna do um, because of a, a style wreath that I'm gonna be doing, I wanna, this is a small wreath board uh, from Unique in the Creek and you can check the description box below for Unique in the Creek um, wreath boards. I have an affiliate link there and I also have an affiliate link for my Amazon shop um, where you can find the wood burning tool. Um, I'm working on the blue is a uh, is a regular cutting mat which I use. Uh, I don't really need it for these purposes but I do have it out here because I um, heat seal wood burn my poly burlap and I like to be able to see the dimensions so I have the cutting mat and then I just have a glass cutting board which is this surface here so that way I am not going to burn through my mat okay so this is my protective layer here um <clears throat> Getting back to the board. So the design I'm gonna be working on, I wanna put two holes directly in the center of the board, okay? So it, this is really simple. There's kind of not any specific technique to it, but a lot of people don't, you know, they think that adding extra holes to this board sounds like a daunting task and it really isn't. So I do wanna caution for safety purposes, you wanna be in a well-ventilated area, you should be wearing a mask. We are going to be burning through plastic. Um, so please protect yourself in whatever means you need to in order to protect your, your lungs and your overall health, okay? So all I'm gonna do, so here again, I know I don't have the whole board and camera, but here's the center. I wanna add two holes. So all I'm gonna do, so I'm picking this up off the board a little bit, okay? I'm not, I'm not right on my cutting board because I'm, this is gonna go right through, okay? So all I'm gonna do is pick my spot and put my tip on and it immediately starts to melt. Okay, so then what I do is I kind of just do a little bit of a back and forth motion, not absolutely necessary. And once it goes all the way through, I pick it back up and there's my extra hole. Okay, now ideally the back should be pretty clean. Here's where I just put that hole. If you find you have like a little bit of the plastic has gone all the way through to the back, what you can do is take a piece of sandpaper and just get rid of that. Sometimes it'll actually just peel right off. Um, a lot of the extra residue though is on the front of the board here, which I'll have a petal that covers that, so I'm not worried about it, okay? This would just be if you're kind of concerned that there's anything that's potentially sharp that might scratch someone's door. It's really not sharp. It's already not even hot either. I could just kind of do this. I could probably actually just pick some of that off if I wanted to, but sandpaper will work as well, okay? And I do want a pair of holes, so I'm gonna do one more. So just go again where I want that, put it down, and it kind of just immediately starts to melt. And as soon as I get to where the edge of that tip is, where it goes all the way through, just like that, I pick it back up and I have my perfect hole, okay? And there's where that one is right there, okay? So it's really quite simple. You do get a lot of smoking off of here, okay? Again, wear a mask, protect yourself. You just burn plastic, be careful, all right? Um, but this will uh, be good to go for my design. And again, if I wanna do anything back here, this is actually really still pretty smooth even though it's raised a little bit, but I could just sand that off if I wanted. And that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Please be sure to check out the description box below to links to all of my social media, my Etsy shop, um, and like I said, the affiliate links to get any of these materials. Hope this was helpful. Take care, everyone.